Thank you for joining us for tonight's press, post-game press conference. We'll open up with a statement from head coach Dan Munson, and then open up for questions for Coach Munson and Joel Murray. Well, I'm happy for our guys to, to, to put a week together, you know, and uh, uh, get rewarded for being coachable and doing the things we're asking them to do. And uh, it just uh, to have, you know, to play, to defend and win with our defense on um, – on uh, Thursday, the way we did, and be able to come back, you know, 48 hours later, and have that same mindset and that same energy. It was just uh, uh, very gratifying as a coach, and I, I think you know uh, the, they needed to be rewarded for it, and uh, they were, you know, because winning just you know just solves a lot of those problems. And uh, I think we grew a lot this week, and hopefully we can relax tomorrow a little bit and go back and and, and uh, continue to, to develop next week because I think we're heading in the right direction. And um, uh, I was, I was, we didn't play that well in certain areas of the game. But again, as I tell them, the team that wins this league, to win a championship, to be a great team, you have to win games in different manners. And a, a week ago, the, you know, the full pre preseason, we only had one way to win and that was to outscore people. And, uh, to be, you know, struggling, and, and we had some games early in the year where we had a good first half defensively, but we, we would, we would end up getting frustrated, and because we couldn't score, and and there was no frustration at half. I mean, there's a little bit there always is when you can't score, but uh, not as a team. Our team was, you know, still locked in, and and as we told them, if they get another 29 a second half, we're going to be fine. We're going to win, and we gave them 26 a second half, and six of those were in the last minute, you know, so. Uh, Happy, you know, happy for him, but it's not the time of the season where you can be satisfied and we've got to just continue because we're behind some teams. We're still, there's teams in this league that are better than us, but I, I think, you know, we showed ourselves this week that we can get there. A great run to start the second half. What'd you guys talk about at the break? Just what I said, you know, just continue to focus on our defense and it'll come. And, and, uh, and the other thing was, is I think we had six points in the paint or six or eight in the paint. And I'm like, we, you know, We've got to attack on offense. I mean, we were attacking to 15 feet and settling for jump shots, and we came out. and I think, uh, I think we had 11 points in the by the first time out, and all 11 were in the paint. Uh, Joel, why do you think you guys were able to have those extended uh, stops to keep them off the board? For I think there was a couple times where they went like three minutes without a bucket. Um, I think we just focused. Like we know we can score with anybody, but I mean, I feel like this week we just focused more on our defense and talking and getting our hands up and communicating with one another when something goes wrong. So I feel like we paid way more attention to detail and took our matchups more personally this week. So Troy was all over the place, especially at the beginning of the first and the second. What is it like out there when you see a guy working that hard? Um, you got to reward him as much as you can, you know. Um, he doesn't really look for all the extras and he just plays his role and those are the type of dudes you want to play with every night. So. I mean, 19 minutes and 16 rebounds. I mean, he had seven, I think, in, in the first four minutes. It's just, for, for me, it's inspirational to see a kid, you know, I mean, uh, uh, if he wouldn't have gotten in foul trouble, he would have had another 20-rebound game. I'm pretty rest assured of that. If he would have played 25 minutes or 30 or whatever he, should, he deserved. But anyway, you know, he's just getting better and better. And he's never played inside before in his life. He's always been a wing. And, uh, you know, we came here and we, you know, we got – you know Raymond Hawkins and and uh, Trevor, you know, out with injuries and and uh, you know we just got super thin in the, in the in the paint and uh, I, I said, well, you know, he he was when he got here, you know, struggling from the perimeter. I said, let's move him in there. At least he plays hard. And boy, I, I haven't made very many moves sometimes coaching wise, but that one was a, a good one. Are you surprised he's flourished so quickly? Uh yeah, but you know he's got he's just got confidence right now. I mean. I mean, just and he's and he works not just hard in a game. He works hard, like his free throw was. I mean, he came here and his free throw had always been something in his game that had had uh, you know been an Achilles heel for him. And he's just worked really hard. You weren't here on Thursday, but Jadon was telling a story about you know him setting the gun for 400 free throws and shooting 400 free throws in a row one night when he was in here late at night. You know, people don't. Don't do that to, and, and not get better. I mean, you know, work and works is one of our our uh, slogans in our in our team. Uh, Joel, how do you guys maintain or kind of roll this momentum over into next week? How do you guys keep this keep this going? 
Um, we just we just have to just focus on what got us here, you know. Um, what got us here, we just got to keep doing it and build on it. But, I mean, next week's a new week. Um, we have two new opponents, so take it one game at a time next Thursday and the next Saturday and fl flush this week. You know, it's a good week for us, but we got to keep going. We got to keep pushing. Yeah, same question, Coach. How do you keep, keep this momentum? Uh, that, I, I think, you know, as a coach, that's the easy part. It's, it's you know, hard to, hard to coach and keep telling them what they need to be doing when, when it's not when it, it's not working. Now, I mean, this really helps us as coaches to point to, you know, not I told you so, but look, look at look at how this works and look at how how why we're having success. And uh, I mean, it was just even. Uh, even today, even after Thursday, it was just so much easier to keep them going defensively, because you know the belief in it today was even stronger than it was, you know, as I as I told them before the game, you know, Thursday proved to them that if they have to, they can do it. Today proves to them that they wanted to do it, you know, and it's a big it was a big step, you know, and now we've got to be consistent with it and continue to buy in and and keep sacrificing for each other because, you know, there's not a lot of girls that date you because of your defense. You know, there's not a lot of uh, media guys that, that bring guys up here because they, they they defend it. You know, it's always about, you know, for the, 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 the layman, it's always about the points and the, you know, statistics. All right, thanks guys. Thanks guys.